Hello and welcome to this new video. I recently installed Linux on my computer and I tried to use Amazon Prime Video on Linux and I had some trouble with it. First, I tried Firefox and all I got was this digital rights management error that I needed some white wine content decryption module. Okay, I activated it, however, it still did not work. The only thing, uh, that worked was to install Google Chrome uh, on Linux and it worked right away. That wasn't the problem. However, uh, the quality seemed to be a little bit blurry and the resolution was, well, looked like SD quality. And it is. Uh, if you have a look uh, to the options here, then you see, sorry, it's German here, my browser, but uh, you can see in the video quality that um, around 1.17 gigabytes per hour are used for the streaming. And I compared it to Windows and on Windows, the same TV show used um, uses about seven gigabytes per hour. So on Linux, you only get the video in SD quality. And this is quite annoying, I, th I think. And I think the main reason for that is that um, they don't trust the open source graphics driver and that uh, on Linux you can copy their content. Okay, how you get full HD or higher resolution on Linux. Okay, what's the solution? The solution is to install Google Chrome for Windows on your Linux system. Sounds a little bit strange, however, it works. First, you download the installer of Google Chrome for Windows. Here, Google Chrome, uh, Google Chrome setup.exe. Download it from the homepage of Google. And the next thing you need is Wine, the emulator for Windows programs to run Windows programs on Linux. And you cannot install the version that is shipped, for example, with your Ubuntu Linux, it does not work. It neither worked for Ubuntu nor for my OpenSUSE Linux distribution. What you need is the Wine staging, the newer version. You can try it uh, maybe in the future with the Wine version that is shipped with your distribution. However, if it does not work, install these packages here. Wine staging, Wine minus mono, Wine gecko. This works here for OpenSUSE. However, uh, for Ubuntu, I'm doing that here on Windows Mint now, uh, the instructions are a little bit different, but basically you need these packages. Okay, I'm here on Ubuntu, so I link the instructions here in the blog post. The link is below in the video description. Let's open a terminal because, well, we install it over the terminal and let's see the instructions here. Um, on the Wine HQ homepage, you see the instructions here. And we start with this command here, copy it and paste it over to my terminal here, the root password. And then we have to execute this command to download the repository key. We've done that. And then depending on your version of your Ubuntu, you have to um, add the corresponding source to your repository list. In my case here, I have Linux Mint 21. So I will copy over this line here, paste it in the terminal, hit enter. After that, we have to do a sudo apt get update to refresh the package sources. And once this is done, we can install the staging branch here with the following command, sudo apt install uh, winehq minus staging. You, so you see it's a little bit different for Ubuntu as for example in OpenSUSE. Okay, let's install wine staging. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes, and now it's being installed and we move forward. Okay, wine is now installed and now let's run the installer for Chrome Windows Edition. So I switch over to my desktop here, CD desktop, and here we are, Chrome setup, and we run the setup by entering wine chrome setup.exe. And usually when you run this on here on Ubuntu, uh, you will get an error message that wine mono is missing. Here it is, and so just install it. This will download the Wine Mono installer and install it, and the setup can continue. 
And now Google Chrome is installed. It will automatically download the installer, the files and install Google Chrome. Okay, it's now installed. And as you can see, there's now a new icon on our desktop here, which is the Windows version of Google Chrome. Let's start it. And then I will log in to Amazon and we will have a look. Okay, here it is. And I already started the video. And if we have a look here now to the options, then we can see that we now have more quality, more bandwidth, and we have full HD on Linux. And that's it. You just have to install the Chrome version for Windows using Wine. Okay, goodbye.